everything Dad, happens for I'm a reason. I'm sorry I couldn't stay. Thank you for keeping me safe. And we finally got to friend, everything um, we wanted to do. We should do this again under better circumstances. Hmm. Uh, I condition. don't feel comfortable with this, Adrian. What if the girls find out that you were... It's alright. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Uh, Adrian, um, can you come over here for a moment? Black hide. Uh, sure, Marinette. What's up? Um, you know you wanted to try this, right? You really got a list? Mm hmm. Hmm. Long hair, huh? Long, long hair. Or we can change up the colors if you want. You know, pink on the tips. <laughs> Why not green on the tips? Green? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe. Something wrong? Nah. I'm just thinking about something, that's all. About what? We're friends, right? So I can tell you some things that I didn't tell the guys. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, what would that be? <laughs> when I was little, my mother and I used to play dress up. Dress up? Yeah. She had this really fancy hat and really pretty clothes. And I often wonder what it'd be like to be a girl. Well, my father would never have any of that. She never talked to him about it. She knew how he was. So one day, we went to the store together and... You want to go get these items together then? Can I finish my story? Sure. <laughs> Sorry. I was just I was just suggesting, that's all. So one time when we went to the store, me and you actually, when we got all those items, it kinda of reminded me of when me and my mom snuck out to go get some cool stuff for our tea party. Tea party? You had a tea party? <laughs> yeah. Embarrassing as it sounds for a guy. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, how is it embarrassing? Well, guys are supposed to go to tea parties. At least not dress as a girl. You went as a girl? Why didn't you tell me before? Because it's a little embarrassing. No, no, it's fine. Go ahead. All right. So, I kind of dressed up in the little girl dress kind of deal. We were just playing around and she always thought that I had like Feniman's features. So she got me a, we went to the store and got a wig for me. And this is what I wanted to show you. That's adorable! You wore this? I Oh, so cute. I'm a little jealous. Hey, maybe I could make something like this. You probably could. I thought maybe it could give you some ideas on designing your own dress someday if you wanted to have a tea party with you. I mean, I mean, it doesn't. You don't have to dress as a girl for a tea party, right? Just a guy or a girl. It don't matter. I mean, whatever makes you comfortable. Well, modeling is something that, you know, it doesn't matter what you wear. It could be guy or girl clothing now. So, I'm okay with whatever. <laughs> That's why when you dress up as a guy, it didn't bother me at all. Matter of fact, you just like want to be part of the guys, part of the game. So, I was like, you know what? She wants to be a guy? Sure, why not? 
after all, I did kind of do some embarrassing things as a kid. So, I mean, if I can dress up as a girl, I mean, she can dress up as a guy. I'm cool with it. But I'm also awesome with anything that you do. So, knock yourself out. <laughs> okay, I have some makeup here. Do you have a dress already? Do you have the wig? Mm, you have it already, don't you? I told the guys at what store to get it, so they think that it wasn't actually with me. <laughs> you and your secrets, Adrian Grast. Let me look. This is beautiful. Looks like something out of a, a Comic Con. Oh. It's all wavy and blonde. Oh. For size. Put it right top your head. Oh, it goes down to your small your back? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Have some false eyelashes here. This might take some time, is that alright? Take all the time you need. When you're a model, you just deal with people touching you all the time. I mean, in a professional way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not in the non-professional way you did. Oh no, are you really gonna go there? <laughs> I mean, this, that's why I was standing there as a statue. It was this one time I had this gig where I was part of the merchandise, I guess. I stood in the windows and I just stand there. So you're able to do that mobily because of that. Yeah, it's, I guess, I guess you say a live model, you know, like, you're like a doll and you don't move or anything. How do you do that? I don't know. I just learned to just be immobile. Okay. Mm, let's see. Blush for you would be pink colors, pink tones, undertones for the skin. I can't believe I'm touching his face. Uh, let's see. Right there, you need eyeliner. But not too much. You're bigger enough as it is. Mm. Okay. So is this like cosmetic talk? <laughs> yes, I guess so. Um, here, uh, what kind of eyeshadows do you Don't matter to me. Peach pink? Uh, hmm. No, not that. Oh, this is way too bright. You know, there was one time when, uh... Are you playing now? Yeah, while well, I'm talking, is that okay? Sure, I'll just listen. Um, there was this one time... Uh, I think you know of Cat Noir, right? Yeah? He had black lipstick on when he was fighting Ladybug. Oh, uh, yeah. I saw that in the tabloids. So she doesn't know that. Nothing. Well, black wasn't really his color. At least not with the blonde and the way his outfit was. You know, it would have been so bad if he had, you know, emo type clothes on. Do you think Ken Noir is a bad person? Um, no. Why would you think that? Well, because of the times that he was under the spell of Hawk Moth and. He couldn't help that. 
And then sometimes they talk about how that was his real intentions, but I don't think so. I don't think it ever hurt me, but like that. Oh. So you think he's a good person? Under any bad influences, anybody could be a bad person. Depends on the people that are around. Also, become like them. Do you I sometimes wonder if... Please don't tell anyone this. I feel bad even saying it or even thinking it. What is it? I think that Catalog could be related to her. Our parents and, he, and me. Super villain. Hot moth. They have similarities, that's all. Oh, Adrian, are you okay? I'm fine. Do you really think that, though? I don't think that he's anything like Hawkmoth, if that's what you're asking me. Because Cat Noir is too kind. Oh. Why well, you seem to leave there? Are you a fan of Cat Noir? Maybe a little. I mean, everybody thinks he was a bad person. If because if that's the case, you know, I just noticed your ring. Silver, huh? Mm. You like silver? Yeah, actually, I do. I mean, here lately I've come custom to white and black. Oh. I'll have to make you a white outfit then sometime. You don't have to. I mean, you have enough going on with these costumes already. Do you want me to put on this dress for you? <laughs> I can be a doll. I don't mind. <laughs> well, you already have a doll face. Should I get done with this makeup? Oh my gosh. You know, when I seen up your mom's face, you look just like your mother. My eyelashes are about to fly here. Would you like to see the procedure in the mirror? You know, I never get to see that. Sure. Have a seat. Alright. So far, I've only put the eyeshadow and about to put the blush on your cheekbones. The resemblance is uncanny. Hmm. Put this here too. How's it feel being the one to do this? Hmm? I mean, to dress me up. To touch my face without flinching. I've got a, a little. I feel safe with you, Adrian. One time that you fought, the wax dummy, me. And they attacked me. You had an umbrella like. It reminds me of something, but a 
of what? And I can never put you in the same place as that person. It's not possible. It's just some of your mannerisms, that's all. My mannerisms? You, you know, gestures, movements, mobilities. I, I don't know. You're noble at times, and it's just... It's very confusing. Here, let me apply this. Hmm. Uh, Marinette, why weren't you at school? I know the answer, but I wonder what she's going to tell me. I, uh, had some things I come up with. I heard you were sick. Yeah, I was. And, um, someone took care of me, so don't worry. Everything's fine. Who? Oh. Um, you can tell me anything. I don't know if I should. Innocent eyes. I was doing something stupid. I was practicing fencing. I told him that. What for? To be better at it. Anyway, I hurt myself along the way, and luckily for me, Cat Noir was there. What happened? Nothing happened. He just. He just took me somewhere. I can't tell you the location. I promise I wouldn't. It's his secret and I'm, I'm sorry. I can't tell you that. But I can tell you this much, I guess. He took care of me and made sure and he nursed me back to health, okay? In a story. That's all you want to tell me? Oh, please don't pressure me with this, Adrian. It's not if I told you what I told you. My own friends don't even know what happened. All they know is I was sick and... They thought I was at home and they were trying to get my attention with the doorbell. And I never answered because I wasn't there to answer it. And not only that, I was told that if, if I was sick, I wasn't really supposed to be answering the door. Parents' orders. <laughs> Parents' orders. What's wrong? Nothing. So, you were taken care of by Cat and What was that like? Let's just say he's nothing like Hawkman at all. No matter what people think about him, because of the fact that, you know, they keep making rumors that it's possible that he is related to Hawkman. He's nothing like him, okay? He's a great person. He's gallant and kind and... If only could tell him more. He's great. He's, he's amazing for Ladybug's partner, okay? That's all I can tell you. Can I please finish this? Uh, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. I'm sorry. It's okay, Adrian. It's just that you're asking so many questions and I don't know how to answer them. At least, what... But I'll tell him and get away my secret. Anyway, I'm about to apply the eyelashes. You're gonna have to be still, okay? Yeah, I understand. Maybe I'll tell you more later. Right now, I'm in a fix. She just gave a hint to herself. She doesn't even realize it. 
Oh, you're gonna fix my eyelashes? Uh, yeah. Whatever it is, Marinette. Oh gosh, touching her hands. I hope she's not scared. You can tell me anything when you're ready, okay? I didn't mean to make you or make this visit unpleasant. Okay. So we'll talk about something else. We'll change the subject. Okay? Okay. Anyway. And I must have blew it. I'm just trying to get to know her. I'm just trying to get to know her. Hmm. Excuse me for a moment, Adrian. I, uh, I needed to, uh, I need to think. Uh, yeah. Sure. Take your time all you need. I'll, uh, I'll be here. You can move around. No. I'll be here. How oh, easy, um, huh? Nothing. Nothing at all. 